Welcome back to the homestead, everybody. I'm out here having a wonderful day, but I've got something I've got to tell you. I've got a little issue. Over the past couple of weeks, I've noticed that my electronic charging system on board, my solar, my generator, my converter, they're not working right together. I'm not able to get my power up to 14.1 volts, and that's the voltage that I need to get it to in order to top off the battery. So what's happening is I'm charging up to about 80, 85, 90%, but I can't push that power through to top the batteries off. And ultimately, this is gonna lead to failure. And I don't wanna have failure. I don't wanna be out here without onboard power for my Airstream, especially with cold weather closing in on me. So what's my solution? I have a brand new converter from Progressive Dynamics, the 4600 series, 55 amp. I'll tell you more details in a moment. This is gonna let me get rid of the stock WIFCO that comes with the system and replace it with something that can push more power in. So today, I'm gonna to take you through the process of removing the WIFCO or the stock converter that is located behind your fuse block. You'll have a black panel in there. It opens up. You'll pull that out. We're going to remove all that. We're going to put the new one in. We're going to begin charging using solar and using the generator. And we're going to see if we can get to the 14 volt range. And if so, this is a big win and it might be something you want to do for your Airstream. Let's go get started. Okay. When you order this kit, you are going to get the big heavy duty converter with the fan and everything built in it. This is what sits behind your fuse panel. And then you're also going to receive a new fuse panel, a connection block. I don't know what you call this. This is where all the fuses go. I guess it's a fuse block. I should know. You're going to get some wiring and then you are going to get labels. These are nice. This is for your new fuse and the amount of amps they are that can go inside. This lets a future buyer know that you have taken out the WIFCO and put in a brand new model and lets them know what model it is. So very well packaged. This thing came very secure. I ordered it directly from Dragonfly Energy. You guys and girls probably know it better as Battleborn Batteries. Derek over there was extremely helpful, took the time to walk me through the process because I am a Battleborn uh, Lithium owner and user on this Airstream. Okay, there's the setup, what's in the box. Let's go do a removal and install. What are you doing? Come on, let's go do an install. Come on, come on, come on. Welcome, we are now inside of my spaceship, AKA the 20 foot Caravel model with a front bed. I sure do love it. Now this is my refrigerator, my television, and below it right here at my feet is where I'm gonna be operating. Now you have to unhook the batteries and you have to have your power disconnected. So there's not a lot of lighting. Everything in here is natural lighting. If it's a little dark, I apologize but I'm gonna get my tools ready, my screwdriver, everything I have. I'm gonna put the camera down low and we're gonna watch my, my progress removing this thing. Now, let me tell you, I am no electrical engineer. I am not an electrician, I am a rookie. So I will, I will estimate the time of how long this takes and the difficulty and when I'm done, I'll let you know what I think about you doing it or having a dealership do it. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be capable of doing it and you are too. Let's get started. My main tool is going to be a screwdriver and I've got a handy Klein Tools screwdriver here. Whatever works for you, you're just gonna make sure you take the front two screws out first and remove the cover. Here we go. So here is the cabinet. You're gonna open it up and then you have two, you have two screws that have to be removed out of there. So that's step one is removing this cover. Step one, take the cover off. Now, if we look, we see all our fuse panels and our wiring here, and then down here, the WIFCO converter is kind of tucked into the base. So there you have it. There's your frame. There's everything. Uh, I guess I should power all this off for now. So we have to disconnect the neutral, the ground, and the hot wire from the AC branch breaker, which I believe is this one right here. That's the hot one. It's a black one that runs down through the hole and back to the converter. So here we go.
Okay, we're going to install the bracket. Make sure these little arms are pointing forward. You're going to use the same screws that you use to remove the old converter. This bad boy in. To get everything lined up, you're gonna be able to hit front these up through here. These DC DC things have to go up and into this hole. Okay, we're going to hook our neutral wire up in the bottom position next to the little copper field here. Okay, green is there, white is the neutral. Neutral comes up here to the top and it's going to go in this third position. Bam, tighten down. Okay, and then black is next and it's going to go into the breaker. Black to positive, white to negative. So there we have it. I actually got it installed, probably took about 30, 40 minutes. I was halfway through replacing this board when I actually called and talked to the folks out at Dragonfly Energy, aka Battleborn, and they told me just to use the original one and not replace the board. So it's pretty simple. Here you can see the new converter with the fan. We look like we're rocking and rolling. Everything is locked in. It looks good. I'm about to put the cover on and we are going to test it and see how it does. Pretty easy. I'm gonna push some of these wires back in there. Perfect, no problem doing that. Oh yeah. I could not be more excited about this setup. I hope that it works. I pray that it works. I'm about to turn the power back on, start running the generator and see what kind of voltage we get. This is the moment, here we go. The lights came on. The lights came on, the refrigerator's charging. Now let's turn the generator on. Oh, I need gas. Got to gas up first. Last night I was laying in there in the bed and the generator turned off and I was like, uh oh. Tell you, I used to have a Honda Craftsman 3300 generator and man, I switched to the, to the Honda, Honda, thir, excuse me, to the Honda 2200 and I could not be happier with this thing. It doesn't use a lot of gas. It has eco throttle mode, which is pretty quiet. And my favorite feature, friends, is that it has an app and I can be laying in the bed and I can turn it off, which is so nice. Got to get that fuel back in it. I ran it empty last night. No, it cranks right up.
Project converter switch out is done. The new progressive dynamics converter is in. It is working. I could hear the fan going and I am getting a tremendous amount of juice. I was getting about five amps of charging power, excuse me, five volts of charging power five amps of charging power. Now I'm getting 17 and a half to 18. I more than doubled, almost tripled, right? I mean, this is incredible. So I'm getting great numbers. Now the generator is pumping a whole lot more juice into the converter and that's sending it to the batteries. And I should be able to top off and really take care of my 200 amp hour lithium batteries. Obviously I'm supplementing with solar and that helps a good bit, but I could not be more happy with the result. Now, let's go over a couple quick things. What do I rate the difficulty for this project? I know nothing about electronics, about wiring things up. I, it's not my area of expertise. I would say I would rate it like a three or a four on a scale of one to 10. If you think you can do it, you can do it. I have faith in you. Don't shy away from it. And if you have questions, you can call Dragonfly in Industries, Dragonfly in Dragonfly Energy and they will answer and they will help you. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, Eric, for the advice you gave me. So a four out of a 10, all you need is screwdrivers essentially in your brain and your hands and you're good to go. The next thing is, what is the cost? It essentially costs about $250. So I'll put the exact price right here on the screen and I do I think it was worth it for less than $300 to be able to get the power that I need, replace the older unit and I didn't end up, as I said earlier in the video, but I did not end up having to switch out the DC board. So time-wise, it was great. Moving right along to that, how long did it take? Probably 30 minutes, I would say. If I had not messed up and started taking the DC board out, which it's at the very bottom of the instructions that says you do not have to take out the fuse, the DC fuse block portion if you don't want to, and it works good and you have a certain model. So mine all worked out. So I was halfway through and I went back and put that together. So all I had to do was change out the converter, 30 minutes, you're good to go. Everything's working great. It's affordable, easy to put in, good tech support from the guys over there at Battleborn Batteries and Dragonfly Industries. Uh, they're a great company. I am thankful I've got their products. I would highly recommend this. If you're off grid, if you're charging with a generator, if you need to get juice faster in there, do this simple upgrade. Don't take it to your dealer, do it yourself. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm telling you, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm so thankful. Uh, I enjoyed making this video for you guys. I hope you found it helpful. I'm gonna put on the screen right here, if I can figure out how, I'm gonna put a couple of my adventure videos. Since this was a how-to video about converters and progressive dynamics, I'm gonna put a couple of exciting videos up on the screen here at the end. Click on one of those, get excited, get out there on the road, let these motivational videos from my travels get you excited, plan a trip, get your Airstream, get on the road, or build a homestead like me. Take care, see you next time.